Hey everybody, how you doing? Into Weapons back again with you. Wanted to do a video today on a new holster that I picked up for my uh, everyday CCW gun. This is the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380. Uh, I've been carrying this gun for the past year and I really like it. Uh, I really haven't had a whole lot of issues with it minus uh, a couple things that I had to send it back to Smith & Wesson and get fixed. But those are minor issues and overall the gun performs very well. It's very light and it doesn't make me feel like I'm carrying a gun which is really nice. In the area that I live in we don't have a high crime rate or a lot of people you know, worrying about uh, getting mugged and all that stuff. So uh, 380 Auto is, is a perfect caliber for me. It's a nice lightweight gun so I don't feel like I'm carrying a gun all the time. Uh, and most likely I'll never have to draw and use it and, and that's that's good you know I, I like the area that we live in but um, as many of you probably know I, I have been again using this gun for about a year and I do have a previous video out on the initial holster that I picked up for this gun which was also by the company DeSante and I, I pr apologize if I'm not pronouncing that right maybe uh, somebody can clarify that for me but it's D-E-S-A-N-T-I-S -S, and I, I say DeSante some people say DeSantis whatever that not really make too much of a difference, but I bought the DeSante Insider, which uh, was an inside the waistband holster for the right hand side, and really like that holster, works really well, uh, retains the gun well, and it's very comfortable. Uh, the only problem I have with it is that uh, I'm getting a little bit fatter, because my jeans are getting a little bit tighter. And uh, with the Insider, I just don't have the room on some of my jeans that uh, would make it, you know, comfortable enough for me to be able to, to actually walk around with it. It's just there's not enough room in my waistband. So uh, instead of me going out and buying a, a bunch of new jeans, which I hate shopping, so I really am not inclined to do that, I went and got a, uh, a, a new holster, an outside the waistband holster. This one is by DeSante. It's called the Maverick. It's right-handed as well. You can't get them in left-handed. Uh, and this is a great holster for me because I'm able to keep it on the outs of my waistband and not have that, um, you know, restriction as far as um, the tightness of my, my uh, jeans, etc. Uh, in my state here of Wisconsin, we're allowed to open carry without a permit. We always have been. Uh, so, you know, if I, if I do carry this openly on my outside of my waistband and my shirt goes up and doesn't cover it as much and somebody sees it, that's not a big deal here in my state. But uh, definitely check your local rules and regulations and make sure that uh, you have an open carry uh, policy or uh, in the event that somebody sees this gun and you're only allowed to CCW um, or, you know, carry a concealed weapon, uh, that uh, you're not going to get in any trouble for that. So. Uh, real quickly here, this is the uh, bag that it came in. I picked it up off OpticsPlanet.com. It ran me a total of uh, 40, uh, right under forty dollars, thirty-nine dollars and eighty-nine cents. It was a base price of forty-one ninety-nine. I had a coupon code for uh, for about two dollars, and there was no shipping and handling on it. I think that's a special they got going on right now. So again, right under forty dollars for this uh, nice leather uh, Desante holster, which is a pretty decent deal for a, a holster of this caliber. So uh, we'll go ahead and set the bag aside here and here is the holster itself. As you can see it's a nice leather material. It is form fitted. It, it, it was a little tight out of the package for the gun which is kind of what they want and the, the gun will actually form itself or I should say the holster will form itself around the, the gun a little bit as, as long as you wear it and uh, break it in. On the back they have a uh, metal clip which is uh, for your your um, your belt or your waistband uh, and notice it does have this it is loose in here which is a little unusual I don't know if they intended that you could switch that out and use it for different uh, different clips or something but I also notice if you notice on the inside there that clip has a little lip there and that makes it uh, clip around the belt which is kinda nice it kinda keeps it in place but it does make it very difficult for taking the holster on and off and uh, I switched between the two holsters, so that was kind of a downer for me. But in the end, being, being able to have a clip onto the belt and not having to worry about it coming up and off without you intentionally wanting it to, I suppose that's a good feature. It does have uh, a strap here, a retaining strap, which is really nice. It's Actually, I was kind of concerned about this. I, I didn't really like the idea of having a retention strap on there. I didn't know if it would make it more difficult for my draw, but it's actually much quicker of a draw than my uh, DeSante Insider, so I'm very happy with it, and I'll show you guys here in a minute how it kind of sits in there and, and works. Um, real quickly, I'll throw the gun in here without it being on and show you kind of the... And this gun has been safety checked. Actually took the rounds out and set them aside for you, so those safety Nancy's, uh, safety Sally's can be happy. But as you can see, it fits right in there. It's got the uh, leather there, and in fact, you can see the bolt already kind of fitting to it, uh, or the bolt face, I should say, there. And uh, we'll go ahead and snap it on there. 
when you got it on this is actually a, not a not a difficult process the snap actually goes on pretty easily but it's got a very good retention it's not going anywhere like I said the holster is form fitted so it works very well in that respect uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and lower the camera here stick this on my bell tube and kind of show you guys how it fits all right guys so this is generally my my day-to-day -day attire you know a pair of blue jeans maybe a sweatshirt or something like this or an undershirt um, I'm actually wearing the new holster and bodyguard 380 right now on the right hand side as you can see my sweatshirt is covering it up but if I do lift up my hands or you know move my hands around my arms around uh, it does lift up and you are able to see it so again something to pay attention to if you don't have an open carry policy in your state uh, but otherwise it is uh, retained there very well this is uh, actually one of the pair of jeans that I'm not able to wear my insider with so it's a good example here um, when I got it covered though to pull it out it's actually very easy very quick uh, that retaining clip comes off very easily and it's actually clips back on very easily so it's able to get it back in the holster very quickly and easily without having to screw with it uh, but again the pulling it out is very easy it's not difficult uh, you kind of come up with your hand you move your shirt across you're using your thumb here to clip the, clip that uh, button loose and then draw and uh, it seems to work very well uh, I'll have to play around a little bit and do some dry firing and you know um, practicing on my draw with it definitely want to be comfortable with it like I am with my insider uh, but you know just out of the box and playing with it a little bit it definitely feels very comfortable doesn't seem like I'm gonna have any issues with it and getting it back in and strapping it down is very nice so that's pretty much it guys if you have any questions feel free to let me know otherwise uh, as always I appreciate watching and until next time take it easy